Consider a planet where time has stopped, where ancient secrets are encased in ice, waiting to be thawed and unveiled to the wondering gaze of daring explorers. More than just the chilly surroundings are to blame for the chill in the air. Instead, it's the intrigue of the unknown, the anticipation of the unexpected, and the thrill of discovery that draw us into the fascinating world of the most bizarre permafrost discoveries. The Last Glacial Era, often known as the Last Ice Age, started around 100,000 years ago. Most of North America was covered in glaciers at the time, but circumstances in what is now the Yukon were too dry for glaciers to develop. Because much of the world's water was frozen, sea level was expected to be up to 500 feet lower than it is now. This exposed the Bering Sea bottom, forming Beringia, a waterway between Alaska and Siberia. The icy touch of permafrost properly protects practically everything inside it, including DNA. Ancient DNA may be readily retrieved from bones and soft tissue, and scientists have discovered intact genetic material in soil samples. We will start with near-perfectly preserved wolf pup, a gold miner using a hydraulic water cannon to blast frozen dirt unearthed an item paleontologists identified as a treasure in 2016. He discovered a nearly flawless female gray wolf pup that perished 57,000 years ago. The Ice Age creature was discovered in the ancestral territory of the Tron Kuchin people, who called her Zhur meaning wolf in Han. According to research published in Current Biology, x-rays of her bones and teeth revealed she was just under seven weeks old when she died. Because she was so well-preserved, scientists ruled out malnutrition or predator assault as possible reasons for death. Instead, they found that Jura was most likely killed by a den collapse. Further examination reveals that her food was mostly composed of fish, suggesting that she hunted beside rivers with her mother, like contemporary wolves do today. According to genetic evidence, Zhur had distant ancestors in Eurasia and Alaska. Wolves in the Yukon today, on the other hand, have a distinct genetic signature, indicating that Zhur's population was ultimately wiped out and replaced by another. Burrowing creatures from this time period, such as Arctic ground squirrels and black-footed ferrets, have also been discovered in comparable condition. Up next, we will talk about Western camel bones. Camelidae, the camel family, emerged in North America more than 40 million years ago. Their ancestors ultimately separated into camels and llamas. Ancestors of today's dromedary and Bactrian species crossed the Bering Land Bridge, while llamas and alpacas traveled to South America. Meanwhile, now extinct Western camels remained in North America until the Ice Age ended. While the majority of them went south, even as far as Honduras, others went north to Alaska and the Yukon. For many decades, Experts assumed that Arctic camels were more closely related to llamas and alpacas endemic to South America because C. hesternus bones looked like 75,000 to 125,000 giant llama or llamas on steroids, according to paleontologist Grant Sazula, who works for the Yukon region. A few remarkable specimens were leg bones from an old camel species, seldom seen that far north. Because of its cryogenic preservation, Researchers extracted DNA from the bones. Ice Age Western camels, separated from modern camels 10 million years ago, according to genetic study. Camel ancestors reached Beringia 7 million years ago. Western camels in the Arctic presumably went north during a warmer period 100,000 years ago before becoming extinct 10,000 years ago. Lastly, we will talk about Arctic hyena teeth. Most people associate hyenas with the robust and scrappy scavengers seen in African savannas or desert areas of India. The laughing beast's forebears most likely resembled today's hyenas but had long, strong legs for racing quickly. Chasmoporthetes evolved around 5 million years ago in Europe or Asia, and their remains have been found in Mongolia, Kansas, Mexico, and the Yukon. The museum's fossilized teeth were uncovered by scientists near Old Crow in the 1970s, which in First Nations elder Charlie Thomas helped overcome them. Since they were found in a riverbank, the teeth are hard to date. Experts assume the teeth belonged to a hyena that lived in the region 850,000 to 1.4 million years ago based on its geology. Short-faced bears and extinct bone-cracking dogs may have outcompeted chasmoporthetes for food, according to researchers. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more mind-bending adventures into the unknown. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Which permafrost discovery intrigued you the most?